Hey, what's up you guys? Sharkness Prime here doing another PulseCon 2021 update video on the Marvel Legends reveals. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below all right down there i ask you to please hit that like button and if you're new here hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell and i didn't really get to catch all of this live uh today is my oldest daughter's fourth birthday so i was trying to check in but i was mostly focusing on the family stuff because hey family first right but hey we're right now talking about action figures and i want to talk about uh the first reveal which I saw was Null, and this looks like it's going to be a pretty sick looking figure. I'm happy to get a new villain. Uh, by the way, uh, images right here I pulled all from marvelousnews.com. So if you're trying to check out images or high, higher res images than what you're seeing right over here, you can find it all over there. But yeah, that looks dope. Lord of Darkness, uh, God of the Symbiotes, and yeah, I'm just excited to pick that one up. That's definitely one that uh, I think a lot of us have been wanting and we're expecting. Uh, there's going to be a Walgreens exclusive Baron Zemo. Um, this is maybe something I might pick up. I I still have you know the one on display that's you know doing fine, but I don't know. I might pick it up. It looks a little bit more classic over here. And then they also had David Nakayama on there, and he revealed. Vulcan, so we have our third Summers brother, Vulcan, over here, and I'm stoked to get a Vulcan. Apparently, this is supposed to replace the Bucky Cap mold, which I think is awesome. It looks like a good size for a Bucky Cap figure. It has the butterfly joints. It has the pinless joints. I feel like the thighs are a little on the long side, but it's mostly looking pretty good to me anyway. You know, it doesn't look doesn't look odd or anything just feel like the the upper legs do look a little on the long side but overall i think this is going to be a great re replacement for the bucky cap mold and then as far as a new figure goes i think they had a little contest for this one right here but we have despair which will be coming out in the doctor strange wave so uh this is a fear uh god and it's it's a character that i think is also associated with cloak and dagger so uh, i think this will fit into multiple displays i'm not too familiar with the character but but uh, I'm excited to get a new character for the collection, so I'm happy to see this. And then they also had a tease for Maggot, so they had that little uh, display or, or that little, uh, little glimpse right there at the end, and I barely caught that, so uh, there's some Maggot for you. And then they have some MCU uh, reissues, or I, I guess reduxes, like the Winter Soldier right here from Captain America Winter Soldier, which I think did need an update i think they're using the same body mold as before but they're just giving it new head sculpts and giving it new uh paint treatments maybe some different weapons uh the head sculpt looks great right here in this image i really like it a lot but then when i saw this image i was like ew yeah oh, no 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 that's that doesn't look right so i don't know uh, it, it may be something i still pick up but yeah, it, uh, I'm on the fence. I don't know. We'll see. And then they also announced a Captain America 2-pack with uh, the Falcon cap, and we have Steve Rogers or Sam Wilson right over here, which I just got. I have no need for this figure. I, I just got one. So, And he doesn't come with wings either. So uh, he comes a, comes with a goggle-less Anthony Mackie head well, and a version with the goggles on, but going back to the goggle-less right over here, I don't think it looks dead on Anthony Mackie, to be honest with you. Um, there's something in the eyes that's just throwing me off and something about the forehead proportions or something. I don't know, but does not look dead on Anthony Mackie to me. And just getting an Anthony Mackie head sculpt isn't enough for me to go buy a second one. Uh, with the Captain America figure over here, I have so many damn Captain America figures. I don't really have a need to pick this up either. Um, for people that may have missed out on it, I guess, but you know, Sure, there you go. Uh, we get a lot of these actually today. Uh, again, with the Scarlet Witch figure, I already made sure to get two of these, and I definitely don't need to pick this one up. I mean, the effects look pretty cool. There's slight color changes with this one compared to the uh, the family was it the Family Matters three pack, right? Like that. It's it's really just a re-release in in my opinion. It's not. I, I may actually just full on pass on that one. I don't know. Out of curiosity, I might, but I think I'm gonna just pass on that. And then uh, we have a new vision. Uh, we have the the white rebirth vision over here. 
uh, they are using the same old Bucky Cat mold with this figure. Uh, I've already seen complaints about the gray. This one's definitely a lot more opaque than the last one. Uh, the Target exclusive three pack one uh, had much, much more fragile translucent plastic and it would break very easily. I had to get two of them and uh, this looks like it may be a lot more sturdy and it may not break. So it's just basically a re-release. Um, I kind of, it would have been nice to see them use that Vulcan body again, but I guess, you know, that Vulcan's not coming out till later, so they could probably just, you know, I don't know, that they, 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 they didn't have it ready yet, so they just went with the Bucky Cap body, but then the Vintage Collection Vision had the Sunfire body mold, and they, I, I don't think they wanted to retool a brand new head, so they just left this head on here. And just re and just repainted it and redid the plastic. So it would have been nice if they used at least the Sunfire body mold, but nope. Uh, I may or may not get this one. I'm not that stoked about it. Uh, same thing with the Scarlet Witch. I'm just like equally on edge. I think this is like for people that fell in love with uh, Vision and Wanda from the Disney Plus series, and they missed out on those figures. And here's their chance to get them. So I think this is just not for me and then we got some 90s x-men figures coming out like some fox kids cartoon x-men figures we have wolverine over here and there and i like that hasbro is doing this kind of cell shading two-tone kind of thing i like that and you could recreate that infamous image or that meme of wolverine holding the the, the photo frame so i think that's pretty cool uh, i think this is the same wolverine body that we've seen them use several times but of course we're getting new claw hands over here because those old school claw hands definitely were very different from what we're used to seeing you know and the more modern look so um this is something i may pick up i i was actually really liking the uh i actually really like the two-tone thing that they did with the PulseCon Venom. Uh, check out my MODOK and Captain review if you haven't seen that. That went up yesterday. But yeah, uh, this is something I, I may like. So it's definitely on my radar. And the packaging looks really cool too. They're doing this whole Fox Kids TV show VHS tape well, with a cardboard coffin box. And I think that's a pretty smooth move. I like that. And they are also going to release Jubilee, which is pretty neat. You know, I already have the Jubilee. Don't really need the uh, another Jubilee like this. But if I'm going to get a cartoon thing going, um, might as well. Uh, there are slight differences here, though. We have some goggle or glasses options, which I think is really neat. So I like that. Slightly different effects right there for the fireworks, which look a little bit too, you know, Scarlet Witch looking to me. Wish they'd get like multiple colors mixed in there. That would be a little bit cooler. But, you know, maybe something I, I may just want to keep the coffin box because I really like the designs for the packaging on these figures. I, I just think that's a really cool uh, thing for them to do. Not, not that they're the first. All right. We all know. <laughs> but I still think it's very neat and I like it. And then uh, the last two figures we saw coming a mile away. Um, we already saw the Unparalleled Universe announcement of this Captain America figure over here, but we did not see it in package. And now we can see that they are going to go full on Toy Biz retro card right over here, which I thought was a pretty cool choice. I like that a lot. That looks cool. And then you can see the figure right here uh, with the backdrop that we'd seen before and yeah man seeing this thing on card that looks pretty sick so they went with a blister card instead of full-on clamshell which is fine you know it's a it's a tribute and it has the 20 years you know sticker right over there but yeah going big big old homage 20th anniversary of the Marvel Legends action figure line, which is really cool. And uh, it's a really good looking figure. I like the head sculpts for it and everything. I like the effects parts and all that stuff. And it comes with the same interchangeable hands we were hoping for. But they did also reveal Iron Man. And we saw this coming because he's part of Series 1. And that's exactly the helmet sculpt that I was thinking that they would go with. I thought that they may have gone with a different color scheme. Maybe something that wasn't just so much exactly like the uh you know the a the tony stark ai figure so you know there is that um i could be mistaken and i don't know for sure but it seems to me that you may be able to remove uh that arc reactor and put one of those effects ports in there so you can get a unibeam i don't know it looks like they did something different with the arc reactor so i'm not 100 percent sure on that but Hey, we'll find out uh, for sure later on. Or you'll let me know in the comment section because I wasn't able to watch all of this live. And there's bits of information that I missed, all right? It was my daughter's birthday party. And, uh, yeah, I love her to death. So I had to go take care of the business, you know? Um, but 
you know, there's times where action figures couldn't wait, and now is one of those times. But anyway, looking at the head sculpt, I really like how it looks. Uh, I like it has a very... It, it reminds me of Toy Biz Day's Legends. There's just the certain amount of detail in there that I really like. Very uh, realistic take on it, you know? I, I think it looks dope. And yeah, the arc reactor thing, I'm very curious to see what's going on there because the sculpt of it definitely looks different from what we've seen before. It looks like there's some added black paint in some of those ribbed sculpted portions like on the crotch and on the on the fo on the forearms and on the hands. So, I don't know, but anyway, what are you most excited about? Like I'm really interested in the Vulcan figure. That one probably has piqued my interest more than anything. Uh the Captain America I desperately want and the Iron Man I'll pick up as well. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, you know, and, and the new characters, uh, I'm down with the Null and Despair, that's, that's awesome, hearing about the Maggots, cool, but I'm not totally thrilled, I was really hoping for a Toad reveal, and they did not do that, I was really curious to see how they would do a, uh, 20th anniversary reveal for Hulk, but we didn't get that either, so I was very curious to know what we would see from a Toad and a Hulk, and we didn't see either of those, so, um, yeah, for me, most excited for Vulcan, I wanna know what you guys think think what are you most excited for i guess null too null and vulcan are, are the two i'm most excited for and then maybe the iron man but let me know in the comment section below i'm curious to know what you're most uh, excited for i'll have a review on the vintage collection hercules going up tomorrow so stay tuned for that and hit that like button if you like this video and i will catch you guys later peace Hey, new Sharp Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.